Hello guys, uh, Max Geckos here again today for another video, and uh, today is going to be on a video on how I breed my uh, how I breed my dubia roaches and my juvenile dubia roach setup. Just going through that, and I know some people not might not agree with the way that I uh, that I do this, and yes. Um, I've had some comments and stuff on my age, and yes, I'm in seventh grade, so, I mean, but I'm, I'm responsible enough to care for my geckos, and I have the financial support for me to be able to properly take care of all my geckos, so, uh, so let's not, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't, or if y'all wouldn't really care about my age and just care about the way I take care of my geckos and the way I do my stuff and if I, I, per, I perfectly I'm okay with with people for, like not screaming at me in the comments but you know just giving me a simple suggestion or saying I need to change something as long as like you just don't come out there and scream at me but um that was a mini rant, I'm sorry. <laughs> but let's hop into the video. Um, right here I'm just gonna show you my adult Dubia Roach. Uh, my adult Dubia Roach bin. So, um, I ordered these from West, West Coast Roaches. And uh, it's the brooding package and it came with the uh, feeding thing and I do have some juvenile roaches in there I don't really know why um but uh and I do have babies I don't think you can see them very good tiny but basically how I've got this set up is I have actually first let me show you how to sex the roaches alright let me see if I can get a female okay well there's a male sorry guys I'm trying to catch a roach well here's a dead female so I'll just show you him or her yeah, I think she got beat up. Or, so, here's a dead female roach, but nevertheless, she's a female roach. You can tell. There's the uh, comparison to my finger. She's very fat, and she doesn't have wings. Um, so that's the thing about her. And let me lay you guys down right quick. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to go throw her in the cleanup crew bin. And if you don't know what the cleanup crew bin is, it's basically a mixture of mealworms and other kinds of tiny beetles. And that is... Uh, And they eat the dead roaches, so you don't have dead roaches in your in your enclosure. Now let me see if I can get a fee, uh, a male for you. And no, they don't bite. No, they don't stink. They're perfectly safe animals. Okay. So there is a male roach. You can see it's a lot bigger or longer and it's skinnier and it has wings but don't worry it can't fly so you don't have to worry about escapes and or anything but you will have the occasional spider-man baby who gets out but uh, if you have an escape or two you don't have to freak out about it they can't do very good and without the proper care and the proper heat and stuff and I do have a heat mat under these guys. I'm just, if I, I can't show you that right now. Because it would tip the thing over. But, um, 
Yeah, I've got water gel, uh, ground up cat food, and all that. And you've got the egg cartons. So that's the adult den. Pretty basic, but I mean it works. And then here's the uh, juvenile bin, which I don't really care care as much about. And I don't have it as organized because, you know, they just get fed off really quick. And I buy about 500 at a time for, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 geckos. And that only lasts me like, uh, not even like a month and a half or so. See, I'm already almost out of these. But I just basically throw a bunch of hiding places in there for them, put some water gel and some food in the corner. And yeah, and, uh, since this video's a little bit on the shorter side, which I know uh, y'all don't like, but um, I, I did get a new addition. My, uh, my brother's girlfriend, ooh, I need to refill his water. My uh, brother's girlfriend had had got this as a present, and she didn't feel like she could take care of it properly. And it's from Petco, and it was impacted when I first got it. Uh, I don't really know the morph, but it's a darker. I think it's some kind of trimper with some tangerine. It may just be a super hypo tangerine hat trimper. But, um, it's doing fine. He's not impacted anymore. He's gaining weight, which is nice. Uh, he's still, he's not, he's not full grown or anything. But, he's just in a simple setup for right now. I kind of got him on short notice. But, um, yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And any questions or suggestions on anything at all, just leave down in the comments. And, um, by the way, I do have an Instagram. It is, uh, Max Geckos. And I know, um, I do post on there, but I haven't been posting a lot, like, at all. So... But I'll start back again, and sorry for the absence of videos, too. And I'm starting back on that. I'll probably post every Monday and Friday. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.